Today, Luke and I took about a 65 mile road trip and we met a really cool guy named Bill who lives southeast of here. He used to run a classic car wrecking yard on his property and due to some unfortunate health issues, he's had to step away from that and all the cars are gone, but nevertheless, he still likes to tinker and I met him through Facebook Marketplace. Uh, he had posted an ad for a little MTD tractor that is sorely tempting, but I think it's just missing too many parts. Nevertheless, it uses the same engine as Goldie Hawn, and so I contacted him and said, hey, maybe I could just get the fuel tank. And he didn't want to split it up, understandably, but he did have another fuel tank laying around on a generator that was running. So we know that it's a good tank. Here it is. It's in pretty decent shape. Just a minor little bump there to flatten out, but that's that's nothing. It is, I don't know if I'll be able to show you. Inside there, you know, yeah. And in the bowl, it's, it's dirty. It's a little bit rusty, but it's not that penetrating corrosion like that other one had. It's just kind of surface rust. So, I could acid dip this, but I don't have the acid and I don't really think it needs it. I think this is all just surface from old fuel. So I also don't have an ultrasonic cleaner, which would be the way to go, but well, I'm going to try something. And if it doesn't work, I haven't lost anything except maybe some super clean. So stay with me and I'm going to try and make sort of a homemade self shutting off ultrasonic cleaner. We'll see if it works. So the first thing I've got, you might remember this bucket from our failed attempts to clean this tank previously. Got a bucket, got the tank. I'm really not too concerned about this cap, but yeah, we'll throw it in. Can't hurt. And I've got some super clean. just you know put in some some lots I had half a mind to just use the fuel tank as the ultrasonic tank but I'm I'm a bit concerned that I might just damage it so I'm going this way I think it's safer I'm gonna go grab some water this is melt water that I've collected from the roof and I've been using it all winter for the chickens so it's not terribly clean, but at the same time, my well water is full of a lot of dissolved iron and stuff, so it probably just make things worse. All right. That sounds like it'll do. There we go. Now. Come on. There we go. For the secret weapon. I've got my little old Ryobi palm sander, 11,000 sands per minute, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and a four amp hour battery freshly charged. How long will this last? I don't know. But I'm basically just going to strap it on the side here, turn it on, and uh, hopefully we'll get some kind of vibration out of it. Are we ready? Here it goes nothing. <laughs> Okay, two observations. It needs a lid, and it's loud. So the lid issue is easy to solve. The noise issue is a little more difficult, but I'm basically going to solve it by just putting it down here. Barely hear it. I've 
use this time while my cleaner is running to make a new gasket for the carburetor. I've used fairly heavy paper because just to take up any of the non-conformities. For a really excellent video on making your own gaskets, check out Piston Twisted Garage. Mark is a pro at this. He's got all kinds of fancy tools and stuff. I made a tool for punching out the little bolt holes just with a old piece of steel tubing and I kind of reamed out the inside and cleaned it up and works well enough. The only advice I can really give you on making your own gasket is just take your time, be careful with it, be thoughtful about it. I find it really kind of cathartic to do. I do it old school with a knife and you know scissors and whatever and if you mess up it's just paper get a new piece in this case we really have to watch this dimension here because it's very close so the trick is the hole in your gasket has to be big enough to pass over this but if it was that big and centered it wouldn't seal so you need both holes big enough but when you're done it's actually going to sit very close to the tubes in either case. On this side we have a little more meat to play with so if you're going to cheat go that way. I also had the luxury of another tank that I could use for a guide. So this little opening here is where, so this pickup pumps the fuel up and it's going to come out of this port actually over here though, sorry, over here and it's going to move down so that it comes into the little bowl which is going to be around this pickup. So that's why you don't just open that right up because it would not dump it in the right place. So that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. Reassemble the carb and hopefully that fuel tank will be cleaned up by the time the battery runs out. So that means I get to go in while this is doing its thing. I do want to have a peek though and see how it's going. You don't really realize how loud that is till you shut it off. Wow. All right, let's see. It's only been like, oh, 10 minutes. So I'm not expecting miracles here, but I'm gonna bring anything to pull it out with. I should really have gloves with this, but not that smart. what I'm actually <laughs> I'm not unimpressed by this the bowl is still not great but I think I'm going to set this a different way so that maybe everything I'm gonna turn it upside down so hopefully everything kind of rattles out of it instead of staying in it <laughs> of course requires filling it first have to admit though it's looking surprisingly good all right back in it goes I'm heading into the house and hopefully by morning we'll have just like a spotless fuel tank this battery will be dead tank that we just purchased from our new friend Bill. There we go. See that? Inside is really, really nice. The little cup here is a little rough, but you know, it's okay. That pickup's got a screen on it anyway. I'm really not concerned. Bought some new bolts. Replaced the self tappers that the other tank was using.
carburetor fits like it was meant for it, because it is. I'm going to uh, prime and paint this tank. Not to worry, but before I invest that effort into it, I want to see if this engine actually even runs. I do think I think that's going to work out quite well. Awesome. Will Goldie Hawn run off of fuel from her new tank? I'm going to give her a little taste of Dr. Pepper. Because of, if you recall, it takes a while for these pumps to get things going. And I expect this will be the case today. So we'll give her some of that. And, uh, I don't know, a little choke, I guess. And uh, I'm going to open the door. Hang on. Okay, door's open. We've got some ventilation. Move all this out of the way. Who knows how much this is going to shake. <laughs> I'm nervous. much happen in there. Never mind. Aha. It's going to take a while, as I thought, to get fuel pumped up. Pretty good fuel leak here. I can't tell. I kind of suspect it's from the diaphragm. It didn't really look like it was going to seal very well, but it runs and it runs pretty nicely. Obviously the pump is working, so that's a good sign. Um, no surprise that it needs a little more work, but ah, it runs. Awesome. That's good enough for me for tonight. Cheers. Mm -hmm.